so how's your Comic Con going? It's going great. This is a fifth year. There's a little, there's there's a smoothness about this one. Oh, really? Okay. There's more banter. There's more. It's just easy. Well, you're now part of the team. I I know, sense. right? No, that's uh, yeah. It's changed my life. How cool is Wu right now that he's a part of the team? I, well, for, first of all, I I think Wu's. Doing, Part of the team or not, he's stoked to know about these creatures. He's changed from like being so freaking scared to completely going like, please let this be a Vessen Prime. So if you could either a Grim or a Vessen, what would you be? <laughs> uh, you know, you know, uh, I've never been asked that question, but I, I, I would probably, I would probably go for. I, listen, I'd go for a Grim. I'd be a Grim. Absolutely. Because I was thinking about all the different Vessin, and it's like, you know, I mean, it's, it's sometimes it's like a, 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 a disadvantage to be Vessin. Sometimes it's an advantage. So, but with a Grim, as a Grim, it's like, it's all good. You're all powerful. So, I like that. Yeah. So, after his experience with Vessin, he, he went through severe trauma in his Yeah. I'm wondering, would you say that maybe he experienced PTSD? Yes, for sure. I mean, it's interesting because it wasn't addressed as much in the first eight episodes of season four. They kind of dragged that story up until I saw something else. But I think the really great thing was, as an actor, you kind of always have that in the back of your mind. It's what I said in the panel. It's like, you can't unsee what you see. So you carry all that with you psychologically. And one one person asked, you know, why didn't you why didn't you beat them up when you found out that they lied to you that entire time? But this whole new world opened up for me that I suddenly became really he's like overzealous right now. You know, he wants everything, he just wants his fries, his donuts, and the grim books. Is all. And sometimes a piece of a sofa, which was actually pound cake, so he'd want that too. <laughs> So what's coming up next season? Uh, what I hear, it's, it's, I seem to get all the peril. And it's like, they, they said, oh, it's not going to be an easy freshman year into the club. So it's going to be just really kind of, uh, he's going to have a hard time. Um, he's he's going to see that it's not all it's cracked up to be. Not this exciting world where you actually just kill Vessen and survive. Because there is the other part where you don't. Thank you. So who knows what could happen? Lord God, that scares me. What saying that. What was your reaction when you found out what was going to happen at the end of the last season? To wait at the end of this past season? Yeah. When I found out. Um. <laughs> one was like, oh God, no. I mean, it's just like you 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 feel uh, immortal. You know, because it's like anyone can get killed off the show. It, it anyone can, anything can out, anything can also happen. So it's it's one of those. Not to mention that you know, uh, I love Bitsy. So it's that's that's a really hard, a difficult thing for all of us. It's like when you've been together for a long time. That's really difficult. As far as I know, Juliet is dead. As far as you know, though. As far as I know, Juliet is dead. Yeah. And you know, we don't know things, but that's as far as we know. That's what we know. You know, and it's um, yeah, it's tough. It's tough for all of us. You know, especially in the world at Comic Con without her, and that's a little weird because we've had her since season one. At least the boys have. You know, it was five boys and Bitsy. So it's odd, very odd. Last question. You guys all good? Go ahead. Hey, um, talk a bit about your personal history with Syracuse growing up. I grew up in the Philippines. Yes. So it's interesting because you know everything is so uh, everything in America is so um, it, you, it's your dream, you know. But but Pinocchio was always read to me, and that's the first. It was I just remember the book, this big book, and that's uh, that was my first introduction kind of into fairy tales. Aside from the Aswang, <laughs> which is the Filipino fairy tale, which you heard all the time in the Philippines, but I did not want to go towards that. I wanted to go towards Pinocchio. But yeah, there's a lot in the Philippines. There's more to go. So we'll see. Hopefully that will come up yeah. again.